This TIA tech tip is on how to perform the temperature calibration of a Q500 or a Q50 TGA. In order to temperature calibrate the TGA, you need to analyze a high purity magnetic standard for its curry point temperature. First, select Calibrate Temperature Table from the TGA menu. Reset all previous calibration data to zero and apply before conducting a new calibration experiment. Make sure that the TGA auto sampler has been disabled. In Control, Auto Sampler, click on Enable Auto Sampler in order to disable it. In the experiment summary, enter the requested sample info, pen information number and data file name. In the Procedure tab, Create a method to equilibrate the furnace to about 100 degrees below the literature curry temperature of the material. Heat the material at the same heating rate that you will be using in your subsequent experiments to a temperature about 100 degrees above its curry temperature. Make sure that as a post-test conditions, you choose furnace closed as method end conditions since the magnet will be positioned under the furnace. Click on the Note tab to enter and verify the information and finally apply to save the parameters for this run. Tear now a clean TGA sample pen. Load the nickel sample. and make sure that it's lying parallel with the back of the cabinet. Select Start to begin the calibration run. Slowly raise the magnet under the furnace. Make sure that it's secured in this position and that it's not touching any of the tubings. Observe the real-time signal display and move the magnet in such a position that a maximum in weight gain is going to be detected. When the experiment is finished, the curry point is analyzed by opening the file in Universal Analysis. Choose to analyze the step transition. Place one marker on the flat baseline portion before the transition. Place the second marker on the flat baseline portion after the transition. The intersection of these two tangent lines, the extrapolated endpoint, corresponds to the curry temperature. Note, if the EGA furnace is used instead of the standard furnace, a weight increase is detected instead of a weight loss. Use the same calculation procedure to determine its extrapolated endset. Now access again the temperature table. Type in the measured value as observed curry temperature. Type in the theoretical value as correct curry temperature. Apply these changes. From now on, the instrument will apply this temperature correction to the collected data. Please note that this temperature calibration depends upon the position of the thermocouple and the type of purge gas and its flow rate, so keep these parameters fixed. If required, up to five curry temperature standards can be measured and analyzed simultaneously.